Hi everyone, I'm back for another story. Today's story has a lot of emotions in it. Emotions like sad, angry, jealous, but also emotions like happy, joy, and contentment. What do you think contentment might mean? I think it means when you feel that everything is all right inside of yourself, and also that you're happy with everything around you. This is a story called The Brothers Quibble. And I can tell you that at first, Spaulding, who's the main character in this story, was definitely not feeling content. In fact, he was feeling some of those other emotions like confused, jealous, and even angry. Spaulding Quibble ruled the roost. He shared it with no other. But then his parents introduced. Now, what do you think his parents might be going to introduce into his life? A brand new baby brother. Can you read what it says on the balloon? It's a boy. Spaulding didn't understand. He felt a bit delirious. He took his mother by the hand and said, you can't be serious. Is this some sort of joke, he cried. It really isn't funny. Hush now, Spaulding, mother sighed. And say hello to... Who's he going to say hello to? Bunny. That's what they've decided to call him. I'm pretty sure when he gets a bit older, they'll be giving him another name. Mother kissed her babe to sleep and father watched with pride. And Spaulding felt a feeling creep very deep inside. Curse you, devil, Spaulding spat, then ran and slammed the door. Now, how do you think Spaulding might be feeling right now? Let me think about it for a moment. Look at that face. What does that tell you? I rule the roost and that is that. From now on, this means war. Ooh, look at that face. That's definitely a face that looks like there's going to be war in the household. And so began young Spaulding's spree of unprovoked attacks. He traumatised his family and no one could relax. His mother's nerves were shot to bits. His father's head was balding and Bunny's life was just the pits. Oh, what to do with Spaulding? For months on end, they lived in gloom and all day long they'd shout, Spaulding, go, get in your room. We've had enough. Time out. Now, how do you think Spaulding is feeling right now? Sitting in his room by himself with two very angry parents on the other side of the door. But time did pass. Yes, pass it did. And Bunny Quibble grew. He grew into an actual kid. Well, that's what babies do. He learned to sit. He learned to crawl. He even learned to walk. He learned to dodge a cricket ball. And then... Wonder what comes next. He learned to talk. Spalding, 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 Spalding. And when young Bunny found his voice and spoke that simple word, well, things did change. Oh, yes, rejoice. A miracle occurred. You see, despite the pain that came with every whack or shove, Bunny spoke his brother's name with nothing less than love. With every word or game he'd play or every cheerful scribble, Bunny seemed to only say, I love you, Spalding Quibble. And even when the bully boy was sentenced to more time out, Bunny would invent a ploy 
to break his brother out. And slowly, all this love began to thaw young Spaulding's heart. His evil mastermind plan. Well, it gently fell apart. In time, he slowly came to see that living with his brother was not a total tragedy. In fact, they really liked each other. Look at their faces now. What can you see on their faces? How do you think they're feeling? Of course, it wasn't always grand, nor was it always sunny. And Spaulding came to understand, you shouldn't mess with Bunny. Looks to me like Bunny can quite stand up for himself. But even though it comes to blows and every day they fight, these days, Spaulding sort of knows his brother is all right. And there they are, happily with their arms around each other. So there was definitely a lot of emotions in this story, wasn't there? How are you feeling right now? I'm hoping that you feel happy or contentment or even excitement. We'll see you next time.